Hello, this is Neil from iPaintGirls.com. Visit my website for more free tutorials. In this particular video, I'm going to be going through my real-time thinking process as I design a character. The first thing I'm going to start with then is some sort of um, base pose. And when you're doing a character design, you don't have to worry about putting in some action pose or anything yet. When you're doing a concept art, it's just a basic pose. So a forward pose would work for this character, I think. And this is a strong pose, wide stance. And I'm doing the base pose kind of large because this character is going to be big. Here's the typical um, concept art pose, though. It's kind of a three-quarter pose. And you'll get used to drawing this kind of pose over and over and over again. And I think I'm going to go with something more like this um, as, as the base. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn this down, and we'll work on top of that. I'm going to do with blue on top of red to have high contrast. One thing you do to make a character large is to make the head small. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, make his, I'm going to make his head quite small, but he's going to have this kind of big... He has this big jaw, so I'm going to just put the basic head shape in there for now. And I want him to have these huge neck muscles that come out, connect to his shoulders, so I really want to put that in there like that. And they notice they're going to connect to the shoulders in there somewhere. I haven't decided on his, you know, clothing and stuff yet, but he's going to be kind of trollish. They're, they're, they're pretty dumb, but they're huge. And so I actually need him to be even, I think I want him even larger than this, so... What I'm going to do is kind of ignore then the under sketching there, and I just want to kind of use it as a as the base pose. But I kind of want um, to ha he wa I want him to have these huge gigantic neck muscles coming out, and that would be like the beginning of his collarbone and stuff. And then I'm going to have his chest muscles come way down here. Oops, have his chest muscles come way down here. Big wide chest. Like I said, this guy is going to he's going to be massive. Let's see, so I'm thinking I'm thinking really massive, like way out here massive. Oops. And uh if I do do that big, I'm just trying to see where everything might fit in. Big arms. Kind of like a you know, juggernaut type of massive, I think. I think I want him to have these really long forearms, though, really big hands. All right, so the side view there, and then come down with this. And I'm not really sure exactly. Um, I'm thinking my guy's going to be pretty, he's, he's going to need big legs, you know, to hold up all that mass. So he's going to be huge. Sometimes you can see another part of the shoulders that comes in there like that. I won't really be able to see that leg so much. Right, so um, actually I need to take this side um, and know that the... Let's see, I need to kind of change the way it all because this side is different than this side. He's slightly turned, and so I'm going to be seeing more. A little bit of that muscle like that, and then that. No, see that, that muscle is going to disappear like that. I'm going to, I'm going to see less of his shoulder on that side, I think. So then I'll see more of his, his bicep coming this way, a little bit of the tricep. And then uh, like that. So, anyway, something like that. Get rid of all that over there. Like I said, this is, you know, all live, the live thinking process, which, uh, you know, can be tedious when you think about stuff. It needs to be kind of fat in the belly, not like all ripped up, not like an all ripped up belly. Even though you're not going to see that leg, I still want to kind of draw where it's going to be and stuff. And I'm just going to draw to there because I know his legs are going to be very different than this. But I'm going to draw in the knee. Oops, part of that muscle coming like that. You know, it has a side muscle that comes here and you can kind of see probably part of this diamond muscle here and a little bit of that muscle. I don't want him to be too ripped. This is an inside leg shot, big calves. 
knee comes in, calf comes out, so I want to really show that. And he's going to have just these huge, massive legs, I think, that just come way out, kind of like uh, Max. I'm inspired by that right now. I just recently was drawing Max a lot, to, and you guys saw it in a video. Okay, so I could probably get rid of that now because I pretty much see what I'm what I'm doing here. Notice he's kind of got this all this weight coming down, so I kind of want him to have that hunchback look. And one thing what you want to do is you want your pose, your concept pose, to kind of match your character. These guys are kind of dumb and and droopy, so I kind of want his pose to be kind of dumb and droopy as well to match his character. Yeah, these guys definitely aren't that smart. Let's see, I'd probably be able to see part of that muscle there, like that. And I'm thinking they're going to have, well, maybe I'll turn it back on just to have an idea where the feet would be. And how, how I want the feet to be. thinking like something like that so kind of almost like Incredible Hulk like feet but he's gonna probably be wearing some type of um, you know cloth boot here I'm thinking they're, they're gonna be kind of like trolls in a way so if, I'm, if I have any inspiration it's probably gonna be from trolls for the overall look of these characters and then uh, this comes down here and you have some of that muscle on the tricep and then I think it kinda comes up and over to that side just try and remember the anatomy here this part always confuses me not always but sometimes it confuses me exactly how all this is supposed to look from different angles some angles are harder than others so kinda like that and then think so something like that and then what I think what I'll be able to see actually coming off here it's part of his elbow, maybe not that far, maybe more like here. Yeah, and then that tricep muscle will come down like that, and then part of that ligament. I don't think I need the shoulders to be that exaggerated, but I also I want the shape of the shoulders and everything what's going to kind of exaggerate to show the overall um, droopiness of this character as well kind of show part of the shoulder coming over there just want to kind of you kind of see top of the shoulder there I kind of like how that looks I can kind of see just sort of the top part of the shoulder and maybe so they're kind of a mix of just bulk and uh, sure bulk and kind of just sort of buff but mostly bulk Alright, so I need to redo his collarbones here. They kind of run up into the part into the shoulder, but you only want to show part of it because it gets it gets you know it disappears into the and kind of show that neck muscle coming out. Anyway, it disappears into the muscle, so that's what I was trying to say. Alright, and I like to work um, at the sketching stage. I like to keep uh, the whole thing small. And the reason why is that way <clears throat> you focus more on what you're you can focus on the whole image that you're drawing and it just makes it easier to visualize it and then as you start to add details then you can blow them up and make them bigger and stuff but at this stage here it just helps you see everything in a, in a clear, more clearer way yeah totally Mad Max inspired uh, type shoes here kinda just Throwing a couple lines in there to so have there have like big one big toe there. So really want to show that. Right, so it's starting to come together. Want to kind of that bone, you know, goes on. Remember, remember this shin bone comes from the knee 
starts from the knee and it comes into the inside ankle, this ankle over here. So I'm just kind of showing that there even though it won't be in the actual shoe part. Same thing here, comes down to inside ankle like that. And then you can kind of show some muscle there. Right, so I got the, you know, he's basically there now. So now it's just a matter of uh, blowing him up and, and adding details and deciding, you know, the different kind of details I want in this character. Do I, do I want him to be more gorilla-like or whatever, um, trollish, so he's going to have like kind of tall pointy ears. And uh, he's going to have really weird eyes because I already have designed this character sort of in my head because um, he appears in the novel. Because this is uh, also a novel, so you're kind of sketching the base idea of his face there. And now I'm going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to blow him up to 300. And this will make a massive enough to add all the detail I need to add to him. I turn him down. At this stage, I, I'm probably because I'm still kind of working out what he's going to look like and stuff. I'm still going to be um, working with the same kind of brush here. But to, well, by brush, I mean it's still the pencil. It's not. I'm not going to start inking yet. here so kind of have his head be more flat at this stage here it's just a matter of you know this is when you really start designing the character I think at least for me this right around here is when I really start coming up with the character design and um, they have really big nostrils so I want to really emphasize that kind of hint at some shape, some nose shape there. Actually, I'm going to have his nostrils come way out here like this. There we go. And this, this eye down here is all, his eyes are um, messed up. Like one's higher, one's lower. I'm purposely doing that because they, they look really weird. They're, they're kind of deformed creatures or something. kind of no upper lip and then I want to show their weird big oops their weird big boxy teeth I kind of want to so let's see here what I'll do is I'll start from the middle kind of come out show that first big boxy tooth like so and kind of show the next big boxy tooth and kind of come up like that No, higher cheekbone there, and then the jaw comes down. Chin's massive. Oops, jaw, jaw, and uh, I might actually show his mouth just a little bit open here, and then show his other bottom boxy teeth just a bit. Kind of color and part of his inside of the mouth. I'm going to have to make his jaw open and bigger. Really big bottom lip I think. Big chin down here. There we go. Something like that would be his overall head shape, I think. And at this stage here, like I said, it's just a matter of I'm going to just, you know, start fleshing the character out. And I can decide maybe they have a little bit of hair 
sticking out in the sides there. They got little messed up things about them, little pimples or warts or something. I'm not totally sure if that's how how the face. Yeah, they look they look really ugly if they're supposed to. And I'm just about out of time here. And you know, as I go in and and I continue to refine this character, all all I'm going to end up doing is just deciding on, you know, like what kind of clothes he wears and things like that, and little little changes. So, you know, I'm gonna he's probably gonna have some kind of cloth here that comes and hangs down, and then uh, I want most of his legs to be showing his arms, and he might not he'll probably have no shirt on, but they might have a few bands in here. Uh, like leather straps or something and uh, you know that's about it so uh, li little things like that so that, that stage is um, it's pretty much worked out I, I just showed you everything that's going to go into this character so alright thanks for watching